Terry Daniels was a hardworking mother of two who, after serving her country during the first Gulf War, found herself unable to make ends meet. No matter how much she struggled or scrimped to get by, her paychecks only barely covered her housing costs, leaving nothing left to put toward groceries for her and her children. Terry's is just one of several real-life stories shared on the Eastern Illinois Food Bank's website of people affected by food insecurity, not knowing where their next meal would come from. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, in 2020, there were 38.3 million people living in food insecure households. For many, the recent pandemic has only made the situation worse. I know that this may seem like a daunting reality, but with the help of people like you, it doesn't have to be hopeless. Right here in East Central Illinois, the Eastern Illinois Food Bank is striving to end hunger by providing food resources to the economically disadvantaged. By offering your support, you have the opportunity to become an actively engaged member of your community and make a positive impact in the lives of individuals and families in need. Over the next few minutes, I'll briefly be giving you a little bit of the organization's history, as well as telling you some of the ways that they are meeting the need for food regionally. Lastly, I'll suggest some ways that you too can get involved in the fight against hunger. So just in case you're not too familiar with the Eastern Illinois Food Bank, let me start off by telling you a little bit about who they are and how they got started. The Food Bank has been operating for nearly 40 years now. According to, the, to their website, EIF began as part of a major regional effort to develop an emergency food network in central Illinois. They first opened their doors in 1983, and that first year they received very little support from the local community, only managing to distribute about 30,000 pounds of food. All that changed, however, in 1987, when the Junior League of Champaign-Urbana organized the first Food for Families drive, and that effort helped EIF raise about 84,000 pounds of food. From then on, they have continued to gain momentum. As stated on their website, today EIF distributes more than 10 million pounds annually on a budget of just over $3 million. Food from the Eastern Illinois Food Bank's warehouse reaches 120,000 people visiting 167 agencies and programs each year. So now that you're a little bit more familiar with who EIF is, let me go into a little bit more detail about what exactly it is that they do. One of EIF's main functions is supplying food to those in need through a network of partner agencies. So they obtain food resources primarily through purchase or donations from a variety of food distributors, manufacturers, and retailers, such as Aldi, County Market, Meyer Ruler Foods, Sam's Club, Target, Walmart, and others. They then distribute these resources to a network of food pantries, homeless shelters, soup kitchens, and other similar agencies. In addition, they also have outreach programs specifically aimed towards helping children, seniors, and veterans. The school market program, for example, offers food assistance to underprivileged children and families through public schools. Mobile food pantries deliver food to rural communities that have limited access to food resources. And the Food Bank's Food as Medicine program collaborates with Promise Healthcare to offer nutritious food to patients at a variety of healthcare facilities. Programs like these have provided relief to thousands throughout central Illinois. People like James, a retired grandfather who was struggling to provide for himself, his daughter, and her five children who had come to live with them after falling on hard times. Or Clarence, a 96-year-old World War II veteran who was trying to stretch his $900 a month in benefits as far as they would go. So as you can see, the food bank has been working tirelessly to alleviate hunger throughout our communities. But despite their success, the need for food throughout Eastern Central Illinois remains ongoing. So what can you do to help? There are three ways that you can support the mission of EIF. These are financial contributions, food donations, and volunteering your time. As with many nonprofit organizations, EIF relies on the generosity of their financial donors in order to operate and meet the need for food regionally. You can make donations on the website by clicking the Donate Money link under the Take Action tab. And you, you can set up a one-time payment or it can be monthly recurring. And please remember that your gift of any dollar amount makes a difference. But how do you know that your money is going where you intend for it to? Well, CharityNavigator.org scores EIF at 95.87 out of 100, 
earning it an exceptional four-star rating. This score is determined by evaluating a variety of financial performance metrics, as well as accountability and transparency factors. According to their program expense ratio, 95.5% of the food bank's finances goes directly towards its programs and services. 3% go to fundraising efforts, and 1.5% cover its uh, administrative expenses. So to put this in simple terms, that means that about 96 cents of every dollar that you give goes directly toward providing food resources to the hungry. But your donations don't need to be monetary. You can donate food or other items, such as canned goods, boxed meals, or other grocery items. And they also welcome donations of toiletries, cleaning supplies, pet food, and fresh homegrown produce. The last way that you can give is of your time. There are a number of volunteer opportunities available at EIF. For example, they just recently acquired a new warehouse and they are currently looking for people to help with the transition process. And they are always looking for people to help out with food mobiles like the one scheduled to deliver in Danville this weekend on April 30th. In addition to those opportunities, you can volunteer regularly at any of the 170 pantries, soup kitchens, shelters, and other emergency food providers that are a part of their network of partner agencies. You can register for any of these opportunities online at eifoodbank.org. Hunger is not a problem isolated to some remote corner of the world. It is an affliction far too common and close to home. That's why organizations like EIF exist. Earlier, you'll remember that I told you about Terry Daniels, a hardworking mother struggling to overcome her circumstances when she first visited one of EIF's food pantries. Today, Terry Daniels is working at the University of Illinois. She's earned her master's degree, and she also serves on the board of directors at the food bank. This may not have been possible without the generosity, compassion, and willingness of people to help who support the mission of EIF. So I sincerely encourage you too to please get involved. By giving of your time, resources, or money, you become part of something greater than yourself, and you offer hope for another day to those who might not find it elsewhere. Thank you.